All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to route the Nexus S4G for Sprint and install Clockwork Mod as well. I also just want to let you know that this process is going to wipe all of your data, including data on your SD card, not your SD card obviously, but your internal storage, um, any pictures, anything like that, contacts, apps are all going to be wiped back to factory reset. So make sure you back all of those up. Um, I use Titanium Backup to back up my apps. I use Google uh, Gmail to back up my contacts. So make sure you have all of those backed up before you run this process in case you need them backed up. If not, just go ahead and run through the process. It'll factory wipe your phone. So what I'm going to first have you do is uh, you're going to need to make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC. So go ahead and click on the link in the description to get a June Fabrics. Um, it's going to install PDA Net for you. Download PDA Net for Android. Just install whatever one is uh, for your PC, 32-bit, 64-bit, or Mac. Um, just go ahead and install it. Download it. Install it. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you do have problems, feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to help you out with it. Um, anyways, I'm on Android 2.3.5. Show you that real quick about phone. Android version 2.3.5. Um, this works on 2.3.4 as well, so just in case you're on that. Um, it does work on that as well. Um, anyways, once you have the drivers installed in your computer, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description, take you to this post. Huge thanks to Shabby Penguin for this. Um, he's the one that uh, made this for us. You can go ahead and click on this link right here. That would be the download link. It'll download it for you. Once it downloads, it's going to look like this. One click Nexus S4G 2.0.zip. Uh, you're gonna need to uh, you're gonna need WinRAR 7-zip or WinZip on your computer to do this. Double click on it, and then just hit Extract to, and then I just hit Desktop. So I extract it to my desktop. Hit OK. It'll all extract to my desktop. It's gonna be a folder then on my desktop called this One Click Nexus S4G. So I'm gonna double click on that folder, which will be on your desktop, and it looks like this. Just a bunch of different files right here. Um, you can go ahead and actually, excuse me, you're going to need to go to your phone, hit menu, settings, you're going to need to turn on USB debugging, hit applications, then go to development, and then check USB debugging. So make sure that's checked, hit OK, and once USB debugging is checked, then you're good to go. Now go ahead and go into that folder, the one click Nexus S4G, and double click on run.bat. It's going to open the command prompt, it says one click root uh, by Shabby Penguin, and it says press any key to continue. So let me grab my keyboard real quick. And I'm going to press a key. And it says uh, using, let us know what it's using, so press any key to continue. Ensure you have USB debugging enabled on your phone, which I had you do already. Um, then go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. And then once it's plugged in, it should say USB debugging connected up at the top, like so. Once that's connected and USB debugging is connected, you can go ahead and press any key to continue. And it says not started, daemon not started, running. And now my phone is actually going to reboot into the bootloader. This is called booting into the bootloader, and your bootloader is locked uh, when it's stuck. Um, what that means is it checks to make sure you're not rooted when uh, the bootloader is locked. Um, you need to unlock the bootloader to make sure to make it available to root and install Clockwork Mod. So to unlock this, it's right now it's on no. Use the volume up button, and then it's going to be highlighted on yes, and then just hit the power button. That's going to unlock the bootloader for you. And now uh, it says lock state unlocked. So now you know you're good to go. Your bootloader is unlocked. You can go ahead and continue. It says press any key to continue. And it says rebooting. So my phone is now rebooting. As you can see, it's got this uh, unlock right here because the bootloader is unlocked. So now it says rebooting. Press any key to continue. Um, and now you're going to need to re-enable USB debugging again once your phone boots back up. Now that it's booted back up, um, I'm just going to go ahead and it brings you to the startup screen. Just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and skip everything for now just because 
um, I'm going to uh, continue with the rooting process. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and return on USB debugging since my uh, device has been fully wiped back to factory uh, factory stock. So I'm going to go back to settings, applications, development, and check USB debugging again. Hit OK. And now once USB debugging is started again, replug in your phone again. So make sure you plug your phone back in. Up at the top, USB debugging connected, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my computer. It says when you have it enabled again, please press any key. So I'm going to press a key to continue. And now it booted back into the bootloader on my phone, as you can see. And it is now, uh, it says press volume down button and select recovery and press power. So to navigate through the bootloader volume up and down and power button. So navigate to uh, rec um, recovery on the bootloader. Sorry about that. So volume up and down, go to the volume down and go to recovery and press power. That's going to select the recovery for you. And then once you've done that, press any key to continue. And as you can see, now you have Clockwork Mod, so you're just not rooted yet. You do have Clockwork Mod. That's how you boot into Clockwork Mod manually. Um, Clockwork Mod Recovery version 4.0.0.2. Um, now go ahead and go to select Mount and Storage uh, in Clockwork Mod. Hit the Power button. Same way as you navigate through the bootloader, volume up and down, and Power button to select. So go to Mounts and Storage, and then just click Mount SD Card, the one at the top and that should mount it and then go ahead and press any key to continue again and now it's going to push the files over it's actually going to push su.zip onto your sd card which um, you need to flash to root so now go ahead and um, go back hit the back arrow right here and then select uh, install zip from sd card and then choose zip from sd card and then click on su.zip that's going to install and then hit yes install it that's going to give you super user access it's going to install the app super user once that's done press any key to continue press it again since we've already ran through this process and then it's going to reboot your phone for you after you flash the su.zip it says congrats you are now rooted press the power button to reboot system now so once it ah once you're in clockwork, just hit the power button and reboot system now. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and then you can press any key to continue. Should exit out of the script, which it does. Now you can go back to your phone. It's rebooting back up. And you should be rooted. And obviously you have clockwork mods since we've already booted into it. And then once you have booted back up, you... We'll be able to flash custom ROMs, anything like that, anything you want on your device. I will be doing how-to videos for that, installing ROMs, things of that nature, so stay tuned for those. Um, if you do have suggestions for future videos for the Nexus, I will be happy to take them and take them in a, into consideration, so please give me suggestions for future videos as well. But now I'm going to go to my app drawer, and as you can see, super user right there. So now I'm rooted, and I have Clockwork Mod. And I'm good to go. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe for future videos for your phone. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.